So, CETA General is not the only international outfit living in Ghana. We hear Big Pen is also living the country, right? My brother, my sister, the other day, game also left Ghana. It looks like a number of international outfits are living this country, and I'm glad. I am extremely happy that all these international companies and outfits and brands are living the country one after the other. And my happiness is in one thing. My brother, my sister, it will teach us a good lesson to stand on our two feet and appreciate the independence and manifest the true independence of this nation. My brother, if you want to live in peace and harmony, do not allow anybody to feed you. Because the man who feeds you controls you. The other day, Ghana said, and we don't like homosexuals in our country. And it went all the way to the parliament house. The speaker of parliament was so vehement in his decision. He said he will support that decision of kicking out all homosexuality and homosexuals out of this country. My brother, my sister. Now, the very interesting thing about this is that we are trying to be that sovereign country that we are supposed to be. That very independent country that we are supposed to be. But you cannot talk about your independence when you are so dependent economically. It's a faux pas. In fact, it is a paradox to say you are independent, yet 99% of everything you have in your country is controlled by foreigners and international outfits. It's so paradoxical of us as a people, my brother, my sister, to claim to manifest independence and sovereignty when our economy is controlled by the West, when every single move we make in this country must be endorsed by the West. It's a joke of an independence, what the Rastaman will call Mickey Mouse independence. I am glad Societe General is going. I am glad that Big Pen is packing and going. I am glad that many more would pack and go. It is time now, my brother, my sister. Even Lipton is packing. The other day, Glover, is it Glover? Also packed up and left. Many more are going. My brother, my sister, this is when the true independence of this country would manifest. It is time to stop the stealing and the corruption and the foolishness in our country. We claim we are independent, yet we are the bigger thieves that our nation has ever seen. We claim that we are independent, yet every now and then we cry for justice in our country. Where lies your independence when there's no justice? My brother, my sister, I am glad that Societe General is going. Ghana Commercial Bank would have to sit up and stop the foolishness of losing money every now and then. You have the big name of Ghana, and for that matter, you have to exude nothing but Ghanaian. It is time for other Ghanaian banks to stand up and also become international banks. I would like to see the Bank of Ghana in France. I would like to see the Bank of Ghana in America. I would like to go to Japan and see the Bank of Ghana. And I would like to hear the Japanese say, oh, we have an international bank here called the Bank of Ghana. My brother, my sister, I am glad that this is happening to the nation. Politicians are so lazy. All they do, my brother, my sister, is to sit back and try to bring in some kind of investment. And those investments in the country, they come in with strings attached. Accept homosexuality. Accept that 90% of all that we earn in this country will be repatriated. Yet when you go to Rwanda, my brother, to repatriate your profit is one of the biggest problems you would find in that country. Congratulations to Societe General for freeing yourselves. Congratulations to Beek. Congratulations to Glovo. Congratulations to Lipton. At least now I can drink bongo coffee. Now I can drink tea that is made in Kumasi. Now I can drink tea that is made in my hometown. My brother, my sister. Time now to indigenize our economy. Time now to be able to stand up and be truly independent. This is a great sign. But politicians 
would see it as a curse to God be the glory. 